Now, another new law, now this one on liquor, could cost you a little extra on that next drink. That law reduces liquor taxes paid by bars and puts more of that tax on the customer. We join KAG's HD News reporter Chris Costa. Chris, this could cause bars to lose some business. Matthew, the law brings down the amount bars pay from 14% to 6.7%. Now, customers will pay an 8.25% sales tax. But local bars say they're trying to find ways to absorb these costs to avoid losing business. Your next mixed drink may cost more than you expect. A lot of people don't factor in taxes when they go out and get a drink that, you know, when you get a $3 drink, 42 cents of that is taxes. Bars with mixed beverage permits originally paid 14% in sales tax. Now they pay 6.7% and the customer pays 8.25%, meaning the state collects an additional 0.95% on every drink. I think the customer now understands better what percentage of that price of that drink is taxed. The question for local bar owners, will the price increase steer away customers? I actually think most will make it, uh, uh, will absorb the cost or at least make it transparent to the customer. Maybe you round up to the nearest quarter or something, uh, however it works out. Some bars may choose to absorb the cost of these taxes, while others may choose not to, leaving customers paying the difference. We're going to drop our prices so that with the added tax, most of our drinks are all the same price. For Barry Ivins, he's keeping his prices the same so he can continue to bring in customers. It is what it is. We do what we're, we're supposed to do. So, I mean, we'll roll with it and make our adjustments and update our point of sale and, and we'll move forward. Adapting to the new law by trying to stay competitive. Now, businesses that only serve beer and wine already face this sales tax, and representatives say that this new law is an effort to level the playing field.